Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new Forest River No Boundaries 19.8 travel trailer. This is a new floor plan for the Forest River No Boundaries lineup. We're going to take a few minutes and walk you around the inside and then the outside of this new coach. Again, new No Boundaries 19.8 model. The Area across the front is a queen bed, so 60 by 80 queen bed that goes sideways there. You have nice overhead cabinets up above with an LED backlight in the uh, cabinetry there. Big windows across the front section there. The two on the sides do actually slide open for when to blow in and out. Uh, at, the, at the top of the headboard there, you have uh, cup holders. There's an electric outlet there and also a little bit of storage area down on both sides. Looking up here, you'll see some storage again. Kind of get an idea what that's like there. But uh, it's probably about maybe nine, 10 inches deep roughly. At the foot of the bed is the optional 28 inch LED 12 volt TV. So that is a 12 volt system, so it will work off battery power for off the grid campers. You got your fire extinguisher down there, electric outlet. There is some storage underneath of that bed there. There's also pass through storage from outside, you'll see when we get there. The little gray cushion on the foot of the bed there is actually for the U shaped dinette. This U-shaped dinette here that we're looking at is on a slide-out, and that will actually make into a bed for some extra guests sleeping. The side on the left, that little U-shaped section there, will actually open up for storage underneath of it. Overhead cabinets up above, and behind the little cushions here is actually another little storage area that's kind of hidden back there. So you have some storage in that area. Looking toward the rear of the coach, the bunk beds are on the right. The bathroom is on the left. Overhead kitchen cabinets there. You can also see the 13.5 BTU air conditioner. Six cubic foot gas and electric uh, Dometic refrigerator they're currently using. Overhead stove exhaust, two burner stove top with the glass flip up and down cover. Nice, large, stainless uh, sink there with the cover over top of it. High-rise faucet. Optional convection microwave, so you can cook or microwave either one with that. The little white hook thing right there is actually where the portable Bluetooth speaker mounts, so you can listen to some music off of your phone or an iPod, something like that. There's also a USB charger station right there. And a light switch that turns off the little LED light strip above the uh, convection microwave there. Overall, pretty roomy little coach. So room to get in here, maneuver around. Plenty of sleeping space. Definitely a nice coach for a smaller SUV. The digital thermostat controls your furnace and your air conditioner right there. And just down below here is the propane leak detector and electric outlet and also the uh, breaker box for the fuses and 110 breakers down there. The bunk has a window that does open. There's an LED light and a USB charger port back there. And same thing over here. You can kind of see it back there. A uh, little charger port on the wall there. It's kind of cool. The kids have their own little curtains to close off for privacy, but they got their own little charging station for their, their toys. Bathroom area has a lock on the uh, door handle there. You have a foot flush toilet. Decent size medicine cabinet. Up above is a big fan to exhaust out all the hot uh, shower moisture there. The shower uh, protective ABS shower wall here on the shower. And there's a skylight up above there. But pretty good sized shower for a small RV. 
And just to the left of the shower is another cabinet here. And there's some storage there, and it goes right on up to another area where there's the little safe. And you also have a hanging bar up here. So you could hang some clothes in here if you want to. But decent amount of room in the bathroom to kind of get in here and actually get dressed and take a shower. On the wall over here, you have an electric outlet. This is pre-wired for solar panels if you ever want to add solar panels to it. And you got your water heater on uh, gas switch. The electric switch is outside. Water pump, uh, battery condition, fresh water, black water, gray water monitor, and a light switch for the bathroom. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of my videos. If you're interested in purchasing one of these new No Boundaries 19.8s, please feel free to give me a call. I'll be glad to go over the RV with you and sell you one. We're definitely going to save you a lot of money compared to most dealers. We're one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. Toll-free number 888-417-8299. My direct extension 203. Again, Ray with Couches RV Nation. We're going to take a minute and run you through the outside of the coach now. All right, guys, we are on the outside now of this new No Boundaries 19.8. Um, on the outside here, one of the biggest changes you're going to notice to the new lineup of No Boundaries is going to be the front fiberglass cap now on the 19 and 16 series. So this is a new front end. This is a hard shell fiberglass cap now. Um, so it's a little bit harder, heavier duty than what the previous front was. The previous front was basically just a rolled piece of flat fiberglass. So a little bit of an upgrade now, a little bit different uh, design to the front of it. All LED taillights and running lights on the outside you have the power tongue jack, single 20 pound propane tank, there is room for one or two batteries to go on the front of the coach. Uh, Couches RV Nation will provide you with one deep cycle interstate battery standard as part of their package. Here on the side of the camper, you will also see the weight of it. This particular camper with the options that was ordered on it came in at 3,716 pounds. There's a lower diamond plate metal on the front section there, a light also, and there's also a light on the power tongue jack. The unit has a power awning on the side here, traditional RV door and screen door on the side, and that actually has a window in it where some brands don't do a window in the door. So there's a window there you can see obviously. Um, the upgraded more ride step going in and out of the coach. So the step flips into the doorway. That step comes down, touches the ground. It's a little stronger and doesn't shake the coach as badly when you're going in and out of it. Large folding entry handle. You'll also see your model number located here. And you'll also see another new improvement on the newer version of the No Boundaries, which went to the Asdale sidewall. The Asdale sidewall actually uh, is fiberglass glued to a man-made composite material instead of to a lou on board. So it is less susceptible to water leaks and damages when it happens. Uh, if you kind of Google delamination on an RV, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about there. So this is less likely to have those type of issues. Uh, deep tent safety glass windows on the coach. Nice large pass-through storage compartment going across the front. You have the off-road tires. LED light strip, again, built into the awning, but there's also an LED light up there just to the left of the stove exhaust. And if you flip the switch one way, it is a clear light. If you flip it the other way, it is a yellow light, amber light. So that's kind of neat. Going on around toward the rear of the coach, you have your traditional four inch square tube bumper. Spare tire mounted on the back of the coach. There is a ladder on the rear.
They do a lower diamond plate across the rear end too. Just kind of matches the front a little bit. There's stabilizer jacks on all four corners of the coach to stabilize it. Outside utility shower back here with hot and cold water. And there's also the black tank flush right there for cleaning out the toilet tank. Now you can see down below here is the dump area for the camper. So your dump area and your gray and black handles are located right there. The camper does have an enclosed underbelly. Storage underneath of the bunk area. The slide out on the camper is an electric Schwintech slide out system. You can also see up top, uh, you kind of see the air conditioner up there. Next to the air conditioner is also the digital TV antenna. And just in front of that is the Rhino rack system. So you have the Vortex bars already there. Comes with the kayak holder also, so you could do a kayak up there. But they make a lot of other cool features for those fishing pole holders, bike rack holders, um, snowboard, ski type stuff, all kinds of things you can buy and use those for. Six gallon gas electric water heater. The electric switch is in the lower left hand corner of that water heater when you get to it from outside here. Your city water and fresh water tank fills are right there. Down below is some low point water drains for hot and cold. And then you have your storage compartment going all the way across the front section here. Magnetic holders on the door here. And here we have some basic specs on the coach. We have our tires, ST23575R15 D-range tires on the camper. And our axle is 4,400 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 4,795 pounds. So gross is more than the axle because you also have hitch weight. Not all the weight is on the tires. So that hitch is there for a reason, keeping it from falling on the ground because it holds some of the weight of a camper. When you hook it to your truck, that is transferring the weight to your truck. Uh, so it's always good sometimes to buy a nice uh, weight distribution hitch. Definitely worth the extra investment. Again, Couches RV Nation, this is Ray here on the No Boundaries 19.8. If you're interested in purchasing one of these new campers, please give me a call. I'll be glad to help you out. Definitely going to save you a lot of money on a new RV. Toll-free number, 888-417-8299, direct extension 203. Thanks for checking us out.